Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for the 18th of May, starting with the DAX on the daily chart here. As you know, we've been working our way through uh, this um, A wave, B wave and C wave here. Um, it is possible that it's already completed. We can count five waves in this particular structure here. It hasn't pulled back down to a 50-60% retracement level and the US markets, the S&P is the same as well. So what we're going to need is we're going to see, we, what we need to see is a little bit more evidence of a push higher through here. So let's go in and have a look at that. So just on the four hour chart here, as I mentioned, um, we can count five waves down to this point here. So it can be, this wave two can be complete here. The 50, 60% retracement level is here. So we just need to be a bit mindful of that. We needed to gather a little bit more evidence of a move up here. So the move uh, from this high here roughly to the um, current low down here, Roughly that's the 50-60% retracement level here. So what we really need to see is we need to see a structure that we can understand that that um, gives us a bit of meaning that, uh, um, that, that we could see the future in that particular pattern and would, would take us higher through that. Or we need to see support on that 61.8% retracement level, which will bring us in around, well, we always gravitate to the closest largest number. So the 10,700 area there would be something that we'd be looking at for that. Um, yeah, look, like I mentioned, this is the same for the S&P 500 as well. So if we can just quickly go to that. So we're looking at one uh, A wave, B wave and C wave here for this. Um, once again, we need to push up past the 61.8% retracement level. Otherwise, we would have to look at this here as wave one here, wave two coming back here. and three, four, five coming down through here. So that would look a little bit like this here on the two hour chart. So obviously I'm bringing the S&P because it's going to drag the other markets around with it. So this is the 61.8%. So we really need to be on support there. We can know that the two nine here offers a very clean uh, resistance level here. So we do need to see support sitting on that level there before uh, we could call the market moving up from that area there. So this further debt five waves down really haunts uh, most other indices as well. So we need to be mindful of that. So I'm not calling in any trades on the long side until we can clearly see. We know we've got five waves in here. So we've been looking for the correction and we can get another five waves up to the 61.8% or even to the 2.9 here. And we'd expect a reaction after that anyway. And um, then we just need to see it climb on there as support and that will help us determine where we're going from that point. So this is pretty much the same case for these markets here as well. So, I mean, the FTSE and the, um, and the DAX. So um, just drilling in here a little bit further here. I think we can go to the hourly chart here. And yeah, the 61.8% is down here. It would have to make wave three quite short. So I've got a feeling we're, we're in place here and we will be going higher. Um, I just don't have any evidence um, of that. And as mentioned, we need to get past that 50, 60% retracement level. So that's sitting a little fair bit higher here. So, you you know, if you see strength, we do have a nice, um, we do have a nice um, number to work from, that 500, that 10,500. And if we think of um, this as a classic trading levels pattern, the arrival here at 500, the reaction here, and then the first high above the level here, then the ABC correction, then technically we can go long from, um, from this level, taking out these highs here for that. So I'll leave that there, but it may only get you to here somewhere, you know, this consolidation area here or the beginning of um, group, minor group two here. Of course, 600 will play out as well, um, but 65, 72 and 80 here um, are more important uh, as such. So um, they'll all play a part, but a nice support on here would... Um, uh, would be very helpful and taking out this high here that would be the trigger for that otherwise we could see this market move a bit lower here I don't think that I'll just go straight to the tick chart I don't think we can glean any more information from this just yet here um, we know that yeah I mean it's 
just as I mean, this is the other thing that could happen too. This as an A wave here, an A and a B and a C wave here, and then drop down through here. So it's quite important that if you do go long, to make sure that you make a nice clear uh, breach of this high here for for that. Um, and like I said, it may not get you too far. So I'm not going to call in a trade here, and this hasn't pulled back to its 61.8% either here. So it may do that in this case. Um, so we just need to um, see how all of this plays out we just need a little bit of time i mean if you're long already um i can't be there all the time to call the low in for you and things like that but um uh, you know that we were looking for a low on the s p 500 at 2800 and the other markets would turn uh, at the same time and of course that's occurring and um, we'll see uh, we're just basically observing what's occurring here and the FTSE is the same as well so with the FTSE here we have the A wave, the B wave and the C wave here so the same thing again we haven't pulled back to our retracement level so we need to be mindful um, of that so that means that it can rally to its 61.8% uh, retracement level which is you know which we're quite quite close to here for this um so yeah um you know we really need that there as we need you can see that the resistance uh through here the support and the resistance through here is at that level there at the 61.8 percent so we need that as support before we can call in a long trade for this um Markets were up on Friday, so they're likely to travel up further on the Monday. They normally like to follow through a little bit with profit taking on Tuesday. So we should see it up, um, but I just can't, you know, if we're going to call in a long trade, are we, um, you know, the, the long trade that I'm thinking of will take us way up yonder. So, uh, you know, we just need to be a little bit patient to get this um, and not get trapped in this. So um, let's just see let's just allow Monday and Tuesday to, to play. It may, it may even take us to the midweek to, um, to to sort this out here. It depends how these market vibrates at these at these 61.8% levels because they can get trapped there for a session or two um, quite easily. So we may, it may be longer, may, may be sort of late Thursday afternoon, Friday that we'll see a run you know further up once we get that consolidation, that resistance sorted out at that particular point. So there's more time uh, to be required before we can call this um, before we can call this in uh, here for this so far. So I don't need those anymore. So let's just see how this plays out. But that's where we're up to. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the support. Cheers.